Oh my god, we got boost pass. Move. <laughs> Oh, now this is sick. Today, welcome to Hot Wheels in Forza Horizon 5. The biggest, fastest theme park ever. Come that's on, pretty epic. Have a slingshot to catch. That's pretty. Uh, that's probably the, the, the vehicle I'm most looking forward to with Hot Wheels. I'm happy to announce I'm partnering with Intel for the channel. The focus is going to be the 12th generation Intel Core laptop processors and what they can bring to the table. Now, you may already know I've been running the Gigabyte Aero 16 as my on the go creation device, playing and recording games, editing and rendering videos, thumbnail and finishing touches, all while having great battery life. Now, the Gigabyte Aero 16 that I've been using is equipped with 14 cores and this laptop comes equipped with their new performance hybrid architecture so there's 14 cores you get you get six performance cores and eight efficiency cores so in my day-to-day -day use the performance cores are going to be focused on playing back the footage and allowing me to edit while the efficiency cores are focused on my social media and web browser in the background if you want to learn more about the 12th generation intel core laptop processors the link down below in the description that you can check out and here we are with a load introduction which is completely cropped i'm just gonna uncrop it to be honest just just magic it fixed because are we actually gonna slingshot that's pretty cool to be fair pretty cool cgi videos of course i don't tend to do many of those but maybe they couldn't do the catapulting that's a little bit difficult <laughs> and now the big boy it looks so good man i can't wait to drive that and go green yeah we, that took you a while are you were you brokey oh i hope it sounds like that this man's blasting off into the clouds he's flying and all of a sudden we're there it's pretty cool I like that. That's a, that's a good introduction. We're above. We're above the normal map. That took a while to load. But here we is in actual gameplay for the first time. Yo, that's pretty cool. It's got like a, a, a level indicator there. That's actually pretty cool. This thing is quick. And of course, it's got the first person view. It's four times every car has a bloody cover view. But it's super cool. You know what? Already, this introduction is better than the Forza Horizon 5 opening. This is already so much better. Hey, yo, big boy. You want to you wanna go? You want to you wanna, you wanna fight? I'm passing. I'm passing. Oh. You're in our first loop in Hot Wheels Forza Horizon 5. Pretty cool. I do like the, like, the little scope, the balance in the middle there. And I have to compliment oh. Haley. Haley. I really got a couple of minutes. Haley's really putting the voice in there, like properly. Magnus? I guess there's just noise. Uh, do we do we need it? I've got I've got enough speed. Hey yo! Careful my guy! You're gonna fall Look off the, the jump! Stay in the middle! Jump! Oh he's a lot! Whoa! Oh my god, we got boost pass. That's pretty cool. I came into this skeptical, but to be honest, the first, very first impressions, they've definitely improved upon the previous and I'm not as mad as I was. <laughs> We're going into the volcano. Oh my goodness. Do you think we can actually drop down to like the, the normal map down below? Is that possible? You guys will probably already know. What the? Whoa. Oh, that is, that is cool. That's that's cool. They spent more time on this intro, didn't they? Than, <laughs> than the main game. Got a nice old dragon there. We had T-Rexes in the other one, didn't we? Oh. <laughs> Did you feel that? That is air drag. Even you left right and more speed. That's... Hey. I didn't know that. They got some cool extra power-ups and stuff. This is really, really cool. Big speed up. Oh, I was gonna. I thought I was gonna do a big, big old jump there, but we're on, we're on magnets. What do you mean? Yeah. Did you mean that? Oh no, she means the wind. The wind goes. 300, 310, 312, 312 miles an hour. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Nice intro. Honestly, very good intro. They, they clearly, they got their mojo back on the intros for sure. They always say they spend the most time on the intros and it's really obvious that that's the case. Anyway, we got our first event to check out. Ice, ice, maybe. Yeah, fine. And we are sure. Oh, for God's You're sake. As a rookie, which means you won't be able to what in the flying the hell is this? This is the stupidest thing. What? Why are you take me from the, take me from the best to this? Thing? It still does two hundred miles an hour to be fair. Yo, this thing's floppy. <laughs> okay, you know I'll take it back. This is a really unique feeling vehicle, which is pretty rare nowadays. It also only does eighty miles an hour up the hill. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe it's pretty slow for Hot Wheels. All right, this is to enter the rookie events. Ultimate Hot Wheels legend. So, so I me. Alejandra along to help with the qualifiers. Cheers, Thanks, uh, uh, Alejandra. Who's Let's Alejandra go. again? Is she from the main game? I'm not sure if she's from the main game. All right, here we go. So we're on the ice okay. track. All right, so we're just basically going to set a time of five minutes for this. One star is 20 miles an hour. 
Uh, Again, I've got to give credit where credit's due. I do usually complain about how the progression isn't great in Forza. They put you in the best thing straight away, which they did in this, but then they bring you to a bit of a slower vehicle. First appearance, not the slowest thing ever. However, up a hill, which is kind of important in Hot Wheels, it's struggling. <laughs> nice. Ice track. Okay, they've really done some decent improvements to how this plays. I also think this is the last time the, the producer of the last few games is working on a Forza game, so he's probably going to do his best, you know? I have five minutes to do that. <laughs> hey, you're three-star, baby. You know me. Three-star Maji. 20 miles an hour was... F so, like, what? I guess maybe we can use hey, something else. This is your award for completing the qualifier. More races. You are now officially a rookie in the academy. Oh, thanks. We've okay, so... 11%? Oh, oh, oh. They meant 11% of this one. And your progress towards the next. Fair enough. Wait. So, this is pretty cool. Because Forza never has progression. This is a bit more progression than Forza has probably ever had. Maybe except the first one. The first one, that's a lie. So, jumping in. associated with your rookie rank. Grouped into major and minor challenges. Oh, that's cool. Pro tip... If you complete all the major missions, you'll earn enough medals to unlock the next qualifier. By that, the way... That makes sense. Got to say straight away, I love whoever designed these menus. The UI is fantastic. Forza's always done a pretty good job at it. And uh, yeah, so we're 11% on the first one. So that was one race. So it doesn't take too long to progress through, it doesn't seem. But it is the first one. You don't want to stay here for too long, really. Anyway, we're going to head to the next event and we'll actually get a better idea. So we're 11% right now and we've done, what, one event? <laughs> oh. Now we can pick basically anything that we want. Fantastico. She said a good off-road setup. Should we use my Skyline? I did have an off-road Skyline, didn't I? Let's go. Off-road mini GP. That's not me. I'm in the Corsa. Let's go. <laughs> Slippery corners in the snow. Let's give it some beans. Beans, apparently, that I don't have. God damn. I hate courses so much. The snow actually looks really good on the window screen. I don't remember the snow in general looking this good on the window screen. The way it kind of melts basically instantly. And look at it catapult around the track. This thing honestly sounds like a wet fart. I really... <laughs> I hate it so much. So this is pretty cool. This is actually a little bit different. You've got some actual just normal kind of racing and then back onto the tracks. Where the hell am I going? The ice though is also really, really like, baby. <laughs> It's just not as slidey as it used to be. Something worth noting is that this does not come with Game Pass. To get this, you must purchase it. That means you must have bought the Ultimate Edition or you buy the upgrade on Game Pass, which, again, costs more money. So to me, I think it makes more sense that there would be more progression in this than the base game because only the more hardcore Forza people will actually be paying for this. They're still going to have some, you know, babies playing <laughs> it's a hot wheels game like come on but at the same rate that might explain why there's more progression in the dlc because it's not just a game pass thing the idea of game pass obviously is to try and get as many people to play things as humanly possible it's a numbers game but this is all about let's make some money what do you mean rewind i don't want to rewind get out of here and across the line Heck yeah, baby. Definitely feels a little bit slower now that I'm in a Corsa. However, that is at the same time what I want. But I feel like it spoiled me now with the high speed. That is a problem with like throwing you into the fastest thing for a little bit. I have another bit. one in mind that you would absolutely nail if you're up for it. <laughs> what? That goes to 21%. So it seems about 10% per event, which would mean about 10 events. Makes sense. So now we have the ability to actually fast travel. I heard a few people say on Twitter when I asked what you guys' opinions are on this. You didn't really like that fast travel was here. I kind of understand why it is and it's free because at the same time as like I'd like to drive to locations, it might be a bit confusing to really get across, you know? On to race number three of the expansion. I guess technically number two we got some big off-road boys everyone big and beautiful ain't no suvs to be seen all big boy trucks big boy four by fours doing it properly in the matter of being completely open and giving you my full opinions of this i think the the novelty has kind of already worn off we've done two events in the progression and it's not bad. Like, I, I, I'm i still enjoying it to some extent. But because of the big opening, I now feel like it's just not 
quite doing much different. There's not even been really any jumps or ramps or boosts or anything like that. Sure, maybe we'll get into that when we get into the faster vehicles, but I don't know. They, they already gave me that, and so I feel like I've got nothing to really try that I haven't tried yet. Feels very much just normal Forza racing now, which is fine. Like, if you enjoy that, great. But, like, in the matter of being honest and open, this is how I'm feeling right now. I'm wrong. So it's not actually the events you're doing. It is these challenges. So it seems like they're really pushing these, like, extra little missions that you had with Forza Horizon 5 in the base game, what you need to do is focus on this. So doing the races matters, yes. But if I actually read it, these are what we need to do. We need to focus on completing these kind of mini objectives. I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. I'm more of just like, let's just do races. But at the same time, I was just very much complaining that the races feel kind of similar. On to another race. Look at these boys surrounded me. Big boys. Doing it again. A little bit of water on this one. That's that's pretty cool. Mixing it up now a little bit. Excuse me. I'm having a... Jeez, a, a screen shake. Hey, we got a jump. Ladies and gents, they listen to me. Maybe I, maybe that event is just uh, dead that we were playing previously. This one's a little bit cooler. Hey, yo, poopy pants. How are you ahead of me? Move. <laughs> Excuse me. You are in the way. Where's the road gone? Oh, but... Yo, boost pants. Yo, <laughs> right, that's so much cooler. So much more fun when you have things like that to play with. This thing's going to go too slow. Thank you. I needed that very much. We didn't need that mag before. We just needed to go a little bit faster. Those mag rails no needed. Big old boost. All right, we needed it for that one. We would have literally like <laughs> mucked up badly. Wait, why did it slow down? I thought it was the finish. <laughs> and across the line. All right, now this. This <laughs> is cool. Out yet, have you? Get in. All right, I guess you're a Hot Wheel expert. That's that's the. Oh, now this is sick. Just look at this place. It's oh, like what a beast! Oh, like this is. I want this car. So Me want. Fast. I'm going too fast. Okay, so they're giving us a little bit of education about Hot Wheels. A They're just gonna. Cool and rolled fast. This just feels like an advert. Like I appreciate it, but at the same rate, I, I, I don't know. Are they are they being paid for this? It sounds like my my sponsored videos. <laughs> I, I don't know how. Uh, I'm getting paid for this. You're gonna you're gonna have to pay me, Hot Wheels. The first car off the production line was a custom Camaro, and not like the one you're driving right now. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. They're, they're all talking about the type, the paint. I'm running out of speed. Help! Now look at these collisions. This thing's hitting me. Why are these collisions? <laughs> it's a finish. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Can he do it? Can he do it? I think I did it. Did I get? Is that the Nash? What's the Nash? Three star. Amazing! Look at that, he just did it! Now, my friends, is squeaky bum time. Okay, so if I'm honest with you guys, that is my opinion. I'm not sure how I feel. Am I gonna play more of this? I'm probably gonna play a little bit more of it, but I don't really have much want to, to push much more than this in terms of content. I know there's some pretty cool cars to check out, so I'm probably gonna look up some of those when they come out, but in terms of the actual Hot Wheels itself, I think we've really experienced everything, and that's, I guess it's fine, but I've only been playing for maybe 30 minutes. Anyway, please do let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe if you are new, and let me know, do you want to see more Hot Wheels? Because maybe if you do, I'll check it out. Until next time, friends, smash like, subscribe, and peace.